Hello guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In previous couple of videos, we have learned the OOPS concept in JavaScript, like classes, methods, inheritance concept, and constructor static, and everything in detail, right? So we are going to learn the same thing, same example, same code, same everything. But instead of JavaScript, we are going to do that same things in the TypeScript. So we already know, right? TypeScript is a sub superset of JavaScript. So whatever the code we have in our JavaScript, that is going to be exactly same in TypeScript as well. But there are few differences and few benefits comparing to JavaScript. So let's see how to write a class in TypeScript. So this is actually TypeScript compiler, online compiler. So this is known as TypeScript Playground. So you can head over to this particular URL and you can use this compiler. So this is very handy for the learning purposes, right? So in the left hand side, I'm going to write the TypeScript uh, syntax where in the right hand side, we can see the um, JavaScript syntaxes, right? So first we are going to write this class and then followed by the same example. So mobile and curly braces, right? So this is how we have to write a class in TypeScript that is going to be exactly same in JavaScript as well. But let us see what are other differences. So let us assume that we want two variables here. So here I'm going to say uh, model name equal to one plus. And we can declare the va value here itself or else maybe you can take that from our constructor. So I'm just going to remove this. And here I can just leave this as it is or else we know that this is our type skip where we can uh, denote that type explicitly, right? So here I'm going to say this model number I mean the model name it's going to be of type string and then followed by we are also going to give a model number and that is going to be of type number right so here i can say number that's it pretty much fine right now we are going to write a constructor so of course the constructor keyword and within this we are going to write i mean we are going to get two values here so here i can say model uh, name and here i'm going to get this as a string and then followed by comma and then we are going to get the model number right and of course that's going to be of type number so that's pretty much enough now here what are the value we are going to get from our constructor we can assign that to our class variables right so for that we have to use this this keyword then followed by the same syntax here so here i have to say model name um, this should be model number and that's it and here we are going to say this dot model name equal to so this model name right so that's it pretty much fine right now here we can see so actually this should be of model name right not the number so here model name right so here we can see we are able to declare two class variables but in terms of javascript that will be declared within the constructor itself so this and then followed by the variable actually refers that this variable are present within the class itself but in typescript we can declare this outside of the class directly right so that's fine let us try to create a um, object first so here i'm going to say const and then followed by my mobile equal to new keyword to make an object to create an object and then followed by the constructor now we know that in the constructor we have to pass two values right now here if i mouse over here you can see that uh, it says that expected two arguments but zero passed so that is the advantage of using typescript here in the compile time itself it will show you like what are the errors now doesn't matter that i'm using this compiler or even if you use your vs code that's going to be absolutely fine in typescript as soon as you going to write some code it is going to give you this uh, error exception like this right compile time exception but whereas in terms of javascript here you can see this of course it's also asking for the variables but it doesn't gives any exception here so that is the major differences in terms of javascript and typescript of course there are other benefits as well now here i'm going to pass the name so that's going to be one plus and here i'm going to just pass a number so maybe six so that's pretty much fine and then let us try to call this model name here right so here we are going to log that so console.log and here i can say object name that is my mobile dot here i can say model name right so if i 
uh, do like this, of course I can access this value. Now to see the result, we have to open our inspect mode. So here if I right click and do inspect or F12 you can use and then go to your console and just clear this and here you have to click on this run button. Now here you can see we are getting this as 6. Why we are getting 6? Because we are printing this model number. So I want the model name. So let me change that. And if I click on this enter, I mean run. Here you can see we are getting this as 1 plus, right? So that's pretty much cool, right? That's fine. Now let us also understand that uh, we can declare a public and private variable in TypeScript. Of course, we can do that in the JavaScript as well. So we have to use the hash symbol in JavaScript, right? But here it is going to be very simple. So here I can say like private. So that's it. And if you want to make something public by default, each and every variable or the methods within the class are public. If you want to say explicitly, you can make this as public or based on your convenience, you can make that private or the even we can use this as a protector that is not available in the JavaScript, but that is available in TypeScript. We'll talk about that maybe in our inheritance video. So that's fine, right? Here, as soon as we compile, I mean, as soon as we make some changes, it's of course doing the compilation. And here we can see that here it says that, hey, you're trying to access a private variable, but that is accessible within the class only. You cannot call that outside of the class, right? So TypeScript is saying us that, hey, this is not possible. But in terms of JavaScript, you can see here, we are not getting any exception like that. So that is the differences I can say. Of course, we'll talk about this more in detail, like why we are using TypeScript, not the JavaScript. So that's fine. Let's me come on this and let us write another function. So here I'm going to say, um, I want a public function. So here I'm going to say public method i can say not function so both are same but in terms of classes we refer this as methods not functions so here we are going to say maybe um same example so make call and here let us just log this so console.log and here i'm going to say hey, hey calling something like that any of message so that's fine and that's it. Now I can call this outside, I mean using the object, right? So here I'm going to say my mobile dot make call. That's fine, right? So of course we can run this and go to our console. So here right click inspect and go to your console. And here we can see all the outputs, right? So let me just minimize the cell bit. Yes. So here you can see it says that hey calling, right? So we are able to get the output. Now, in case, just in case, if I change this to private variable, so that's not going to work for sure. We know that, right? So private means, of course, we can do anything with that variable or the method within the class, not outside of the class. So I'm just going to make this as default, not default. So default in the sense it's going to be public for sure. So nothing like default here. And this method, we know that this is not going to return us anything. So if something is not returning us anything, then we can use the keyword called void, right? So here I can say void. So that means it is not going to return us anything. Now, just in case, let us assume that it is going to return us string, right? So here if I say string, and then now this is going to uh, throw me error. It says that, hey, Koshik, you're trying to return this as uh, void, but I mean, you're trying to return this as a value of string, but here it says that, here it says like nothing. So that means, of course, it is going to give us some exception. So here I can use this return keyword and here I can make this as string so that uh, your method can understand, okay, we are returning this value as a string. So of course this method return type should be of string. But in terms of JavaScript, if you see here, we do not have any such concept like what is the type uh, it is going to return or something. So basically JavaScript is dynamic in nature. So whatever the value we are going to pass to it in the runtime, it is going to decide and based on that, it is going to give us the um functions based on that particular value right uh, for example here if i say like my mobile make call dot and okay i cannot edit this file let us try to edit here right now here if i give dot and here you can see we are getting all the functions related to our string class right so we have already discussed about string in detail in our video so can we go and check that so here we can see we are getting this all the string related methods so 
like splice or split or end switch, start switch. So we are getting all the methods, right? So TypeScript knows that this method is going to return the type of string. So based on that, we are going to use those functions from the from those string classes, right? Now, just in case if I return make this as void, so of course I won't get anything here. And here also it's going to give us error. So let me command this and here I can go and check. So here if I give dot and control space, of course I'm not going to get anything related to the string class. So that is how TypeScript works or any program language works I can say. Right. So I think this is very pretty much cool. Uh, this very simple video. So this is how we have to create a class and then we have to use this um, um, private variable or the public variable and the followed by the constructor. Right, and this is how we have to create the method so we can use uh, public or the private. So apart from this um, public and private, we also have two other um, access modifier like read only and protector. You will see that in our next video. So as of now, this is pretty much fine, I believe. So if you know JavaScript, then I can say you know TypeScript already. Just you have to understand the uh, syntactic sugar. That means the syntax how this is going to work. Right. So that's it from my side. See you in the next one very soon.